Hi all, I have another delightful game to show you of Leela. This is by Matt Blakely. He posted this to the Leela chess forums in the Fred Moore games for commenting. The time control is 15 minutes with a two second increment. It's a 1070 Ti uh, GPU versus a four CPU setup. Let's have a look. E4 from Leela. We have the Sicilian defense, Knight F3, G6, accelerated Fianchetto variation. D4, I believe this is the end of the book here. C takes, uh, Queen takes, Knight F6, Knight C3, Knight C6, Queen A4, and Black plays D6 now. This is quite interesting. It's a little bit provocative. Leela is provoked and plays E5 to try and exploit this pinned Knight. D takes, Knight takes E5, Bishop G7, and now, yes, perhaps you could argue this is a little bit greedy, Bishop B5. It does pile on the pressure on C6, and Stockfish is the one that's kind of relaxed about material here, and just castles. So, does Leela want to pick up a pawn here and suffer the consequences? In fact, she did take the pawn uh, on offer after Knight takes, Bishop takes c6. Does black have ferocious counterplay? Bishop d7. White has to step very, very carefully here. Otherwise, this could end up being misery for white. White castled in this position. We have rook c8. Bishop takes, queen takes, and now a very, very careful step indeed not taking the queen we have queen a6 instead this is rather suave re-centralizing the queen this maneuver if instead queen takes d7 we can see that black piles up on the c file and c4 in particular and even can prolong the torture with knight b6 here and rook c6 and double the rooks and now knight c4 with the big threat of knight takes b2 or knight takes a3 so for example like this and if white's dented like that this is just awful it's at least equal misery for white so that sort of thing has to be avoided so queen a6 but there's a price that has to be paid for white's materialism can Lila soak up that price and pay it in a different way bartering instead of long-lasting endgame pressure is there another way we see rook c6 queen e2 rook f c8 rook d1 queen b7 queen f3 this hints this this looks like an annoying pin and now after h5 which provides a hook sometimes for knight g4 h3 stops the use of g4 and make sure that there's no back row mates later rook b6 white Leela now plays a4, not minding the pawns being doubled. So this is an interesting way of soaking up some of the tactical pressure here. Uh, you might think queen takes b7, but uh, a4 gets underway with the pawns instead. Uh, so we see, in fact, black taking on f3. G takes. Is this a little bit wretched? We see a6. Rook a3. Rook b7. King f1. Knight e8. And now rook d3. White wants to play rook b3 without losing the c3 pawn after. So if, if rook b3 had been played straight away, black can just take care and that'll be fine for black. So rook d3 preparing rook b3. King f8, rook b3 now. And so Leela is not minding double pawns, kind of wretched on both sides of the board. Yeah, and also, of course, a nice day's h pawn. The, the pawn structure doesn't look too promising, but what white does have, what Leela is trying to emphasize here with these structural costs uh, and concessions, is that white has a pawn majority, a two to one pawn majority here to be able to create a passed pawn. We see knight c7 and the bishop goes to e3 knight e6 and now a5 with the hint now that actually b4 b5 with a passed a pawn king e8 b4 rook c6 f4 you might think well what's the point of f4 
interesting well if black replies f5 maybe there's another target on on the file here so in fact we see the move rook d6 uh, on rook c7 as an example this gets really dangerous after knight d5 this this would be a silly idea where the a pawn is extremely dangerous unnecessarily so when it actually wins material so the a pawn is lurking there behind the scenes so rook d6 white takes and now there looks to be the problem with b5 it looks as though bishop takes and then a takes Lena does this anyway b5 anyway pawn sack bishop takes c3 takes a takes so the pass pawn's being created but now some real end game subtlety is used here so there are longer term multi sequence frets here stepping the pawn up but what about stepping the king up to different places guess what why it plays in this position if I give you five seconds to pause the video okay f5 this creates the possibility now as well as stopping black from playing f5 it creates the possibility of king walks for example the king might later venture like this and hit h5 or it might go on the dark squares later when the knight's not covering things so this giving black a pawn here very interesting black doesn't even take the pawn knight g7 uh, as a simulation if black took the pawn a6 so black is forced to do something about the outside a pawn and here the king can start walking on this side and create a past h pawn and this turns out to be really good for what this variation where that h pawn is the hero eventually black runs out of pawn moves basically and this is just winning for white so very dangerous scenario to take there so we have knight c7 king e2 just leaving that pawn to be taken because there's a nice king walk king d7 king f3 king c6 king e4 king b7 you might think what about d5 does that do anything king just goes into e5 in that case and for example like this is very nice with the f pawn coming up so that's very nice for white so we have king b7 h4 king a6 bishop b6 takes king takes f5 95 bishop d4 holding on to c3 so otherwise this b pawn could be dangerous as well giving up the a pawn though but now the h pawn so switching attention to the h pawn knight c7 a lot of translation of one advantage to another one pass pawn for another so knight e6 bishops maintained so the knight's being kept out of some key squares here this h pawn is ominous d5 but black has its own ominous idea to try and create a pass pawn with a pawn sacrifice to try and distract this pawn away to push one through uh, if b4 immediately then c takes and then bishop e7 this position is winning for white clearly so d5 black has to distract this c3 pawn away so we have a bit more drama now king a4 king g4 king b3 h5 f5 check trying to lure white into a horrible trap if the king took on f5 then check and then taking out the h5 pawn is at least okay for black this scenario this long continuation is even even Stevens so King h4 is played sidestepping King takes f5 and that fork b4 so pushing through the d pawn temporarily sacking a pawn but Leela now plays b5 and this is a pawn heading to Queen with check d3 b6 d2 b7 d1 which actually threatens checkmate in one but thankfully it is check 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 
and here it's getting pretty critical actually. Uh, knight d4 having to go into a self pin. Now the little matter of queen g4 is addressed with king g5. We have now queen g4 check, king h6 check, king g7 check, king f8. This is a really quite a nasty pin and in fact it's so nasty here this pin and this to the, together with this past h pawn that Stockfish kind of gives up by taking on h5 allowing check and to be a piece down it's lost now off the check it's adjudicated as a win for white a bishop up as an example continuation say the king goes to f7 uh, eventually basically the f5 pawn can be won carefully uh, not a silly way of doing this by the way is to play something like queen d3 one has to be careful of stalemate tricks uh, <laughs> so as long as stalemate is avoided and the f5, f5 pawn is won carefully then it should be fine a complete win for white so let's take back to let's go back to the final possession so some interesting end game finesses there. Very interesting translation of advantages and swapping certain pains for another actually. Not just swapping trump cards like a past A pawn for a past H pawn, but swapping pain on the queen side to pain on the king side, double pawns on the king side as well earlier. Try and soak up the pressure and having the double pawns there. White's pawn structure, although wretched, had the idea of creating a past A pawn, which was swap of a past H pawn. And then later, yeah, the final dramatic scenes showing that the B pawn checking and then the king avoiding getting mated and going up the board and, and that forcing that self pin, the tactical self pin, was part of the downfall, the final downfall of black and winning that piece so quite a dramatic game a fabulous end game indeed as expressed by Matt on the Leela forums I hope you enjoyed this game video if you did please click on the top left box which should appear shortly to come member at chessworld.net play other youtubers you can also check the YouTube analysis and advance of these games uh, on the uh, improved menu learn for the masters YouTube order button comments questions relations see the description like share subscribe with the notification bell really appreciated and also the new teespring t-shirt store in the description thanks very much